Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer. Whether this day has been a long one or has rushed by, we come to give thanks and to know that God cares about our cares. So we take a moment to still ourselves with the God who is for us. Psalm 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So we bring to God the cares of this day. The challenges of this day, the frustrations of this day, the creativity and the joys of this day. Save us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Psalm 139, verse 19. Complete change in tone now. If only you, God, would slay the wicked, away from me, all you who are you who are bloodthirsty. If only you, God, would slay the wicked. The psalmist has been rejoicing in all that God has created in him. And suddenly he says, yes, God, but get rid of those who are wicked. Wouldn't life be easier for all of us if God got rid of the wicked? If those who are obviously nasty obviously evil, obviously difficult, were just taken out of the picture. We all have moments, I expect, like that, when we think it would be easier if we didn't have to deal with some people. And the psalmist just cries out, Lord, I don't want to have to deal with them. I don't want to have to come across them. He brings it to God. And he knows that God already knows his thoughts, but he's just saying, God, please, can't you make life simpler, maybe? Or maybe that's what he's saying. We're never sure with these. But he knows that God knows. And if you have people and situations you struggle with, you're not alone. Let's pray. Holy One, thank you that you know those situations that we struggle with. Those situations where it would be so much easier if situations just disappeared. But we know that that's not how you've created us or how you've created the world. For you give us free will. Help us in those places of challenge to know you and to trust you and soften our hearts where they need softening. Amen. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing failing and tender care this night all who are ill or in pain and all who struggle with life. Thank you that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal each one. Minister your peace, your kindness and your goodness. 
and restore them to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. May the Lord bless you. May you bless those you meet, and may you be blessed in turn by family, friends and strangers in a solid ring of God's love. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Spirit. Amen. Bless you and sleep well.